My computer is just being all weird. Okay. So some of you have seen this already. Some of you have not. This is called the Bella um, fold for um, the Unique in the Creek flower board. And it creates this beautiful flower. Absolute stunning 3D flower effect. And that's what I'm going to do today. Um, the creator of the actual uh, fold is uh, Melanie with Mesh You Up Wreath Designs. She's awesome. She's fabulous. She's going to be on later on this evening. So go ahead and check her out. Hi, Chris Haas. How are you? Chris, I used one of your signs yesterday, the lemonade one. Oh, it came out stunning. It's so awesome. It's so, so pretty. So um, uh, you may have seen this petal already because it's when she created it, it, it blew up. And I'm just like, oh, I have to create that. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you when we made the Rita flower with the purple and the purple and the cream check, the leftover um, mesh that we cut or we heat sealed, I'm going to show you, you can do the same fold on the smaller board and use up all that extra because you don't have enough for a whole full board of the large flower board, but it will fit on the small flower board. So stay tuned after we're done with this big one. So I'm going to bring you down. Hi, Candy. Hello, Teresa. Come on in. I'm going to bring you down to the board. If you do get seasick, please close your eyes in three, two, and one. We're coming down to the board. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Lori. Much appreciate. Yes, if you like me and you like what you see and you like what I do, go ahead and force push me out. That's the S-H-A-R-E button. My name is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Racing Crafts, and we're going to do a flower today. Why? Because flowers are happy, they're fun, they could be in your home, in your kitchen, in your living room, on your front door, in a nursing home, apartment, condo. It just brightens up everybody's, you know, day. So, like I said, we're using the Unique in the Creek flower board. I have load, loaded the zip ties closed. More feathers. <laughs> we're going to be seeing a lot of those. I um, did every set of holes in rows two through five row one i have left empty i did not drill any extra holes so this is some people do i did not because i'm just going to show you especially for first time viewers um how to use the unique in the creek and like i said my um affiliate link for unique in the creek and for deco exchange to get your poly burlap mesh um i placed in the comments so I loaded closed. I already started making some of the petals, so I'm gonna put those to the side. We're just gonna put those to the side. And I just laid something flat on them. It's not that big of a deal. You can either put something on them or keep them poofy. Completely up to you. So when I did my um, versus video of the heat sealer, the um, impulse sealer, or the wood burner. Um, this is what I was cutting. I was cutting the pink and the pink and cream check. And this is what I was making it for. Let me go back to the comments. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Dana. Hello, love. So these are 10 by 10 heat sealed squares. So with my um, deduction of using both, I like them both. I like both the heat sealer and the wood burner. The heat sealer I like for this, the wood burner I like for my check. It's a preference that I have now, so <laughs> that's what I use. But if you have either or, go ahead and heat seal. This is poly burlap, 10 inch um, by 10 yards. And I just heat sealed the whole roll because now my extras I can put on the small flower board, which I'm going to show you afterwards. So you have your square, turn it up where it kind of curls. Um, I had them laying flat. Hello, hello. I have it, I had it sitting flat, but it's going to curl up a little bit. So you have it in a square. You're going to turn it into a diamond. And then you're just going to 
put it in a triangle and you're going to flatten like a majority of the the petals that are have been done but like I said I did not create this petal but I love this petal so what I do is I kind of put it at an angle and I'm going to fold it up just a little bit maybe about two inches from the top sideways and then I'm going to fold I'm going to meet that fold right here fold it up where this side meets this side and I get this cute little that one's a little wonky sorry <laughs> I pushed it over way too much you're gonna get this cute little petal okay now you can either put it in this way or this way completely up to you and then you just scrunch the bottom and then you're gonna put it into your zip tie I'm gonna go ahead and show it again so I'm gonna put an elastic rubber band around the bottom so this is another great petal that if you want to do all the petals at once and put a chip clip or a um, clothespin or even if you have the little rubber bands and then just set it aside completely up to you let's do that one again and I'll do it I'll do more as we're making the flower I just I did a couple to start because row two that's 16 that you're gonna put in and that gets a little time consuming after you do row two the flower goes like nothing once again you got a square diamond you're gonna pull up the corner to the corner sort of like the rose and the Rita hello Linda Hi, Marion. Hello, hello. Yeah, kind of looks like a tulip. Yep, it sure does. Now I have it a triangle. I'm going to flip one corner. I don't know the degree, guys. You just have to play with it. I did. Um, but you're, not, you're putting it about two inches and then fold it up. And then you're going to fold it where this meets okay and then you're going to bunch it up at the bottom now this would putting it in this way would be pretty too maybe we'll do that way i don't know i don't know yet i don't know yet that is pretty that is really pretty that way i do like it this way too who knows okay Couple more times and then we're gonna get started. Ta da! Square, diamond, corner, boop, corner to corner. I always like to have my finished edge on my left hand side. That way it's all uniform. Hi, Debbie! Hi, Lynette! I do have degree marks on my mat, Marion. <laughs> I don't use them. Hi, Tink. Hi, Georgiana. Hi, Wanda. Oh, well, welcome. Wait, first tier or first timer? Why not you? First timer. Okay, welcome. My name is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Recent Crafts. We are making the Bella flower, so I just fold it into a triangle. I'm pulling up. See, this is the plastic that I got from heat sealing. It's okay. It doesn't hurt nothing. So I'm thinking two inches, then you're going to fold it over and you're going to fold the other one to meet the side. Okay. And doesn't help that I have a pink mat and I'm working with pink mesh, huh? Sorry guys. I don't think things through sometimes. All right, let's start loading the board. Okay. This is the Unique in the Creek flower board. It is from uniqueinthecreek.com. Once again, my affiliate is in the comments, along with the Deco Exchange where I got the Poly Burlap. So go in there and buy all the supplies. <laughs> okay, so now all I'm going to do, I haven't decided. No, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. I am going to put, it doesn't matter where you start on row two, they are loaded closed. Loaded open would be mean that I did not zip tie them closed. 
there's no loop. So I'm just gonna put it in. It's about an inch, I measure with my thumb. And then I'm going to tie it down. That's it guys. So this row is gonna be pink. Then the next is going to be the check and pink, uh, check, the pink and cream check, pink, and then pink and cream check. And then the center, I don't know if the center is going to work. It may, <laughs> it may not. So now all I'm doing is I'm zip tying them down in there. Or maybe if I, hold on, let me, let me play just a little bit because we have even numbers. What if I went every other? You could do this any way you want. Ooh, I do like that effect. Okay, I'm gonna do every other and I'm gonna flip it upside down. Like I said, play, this is just the pedal. Put it in the other way, put it in, you know, just play around with your mesh. It's just like origami. Athena, say cream and check three times. No. <laughs> Dana, you're going to get me in trouble. No, ma'am. <laughs> so all I'm doing is, and you can have them all facing the same way. When I show you on the small flower board, after we're done with this one, I'll show you what I did. I'm just putting some this way, some this way, and doing every other. That's all I'm doing. But you can put it all in the same way. You could put it the uh, the other way, completely up to you. I just think this is, adds a little bit more, huh? Let me take a look at that. That one's that way. This one's this way. I <laughs> just now, now I have to remember my pattern. And maybe with the check, I'll do um, all the same way. I don't know yet. I'm just playing. This is a petal that you can play with. See how pretty and full that is already? And it's already starting to get really big. <laughs> That's going to be a beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Peggy. Peg. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Peggy. Peg. I do. Yes, Kim. I'm just, you know, what, what can you do? Hmm? Exactly. Just play around. There is no right or wrong. You could do that with any of the petals. And I still have to do the, vid the video the video of all the petals um, that we that we use um, for the Unique in the Creek boards. I have not forgotten about that, Miss Georgiana. I have not. I just haven't had the time between working and then trying to figure out what I'm gonna do on the lives and then planning something next weekend. So <laughs> it's getting real full guys, real, real full. Now, normally I'm not a pink person. I am a blue person. My favorite color is blue, um, but there's something about this pink that I really do like. I really like the teal, but the lavender I think is my favorite. And if you mess up on the design or if you're flipping like I am, just cut the zip tie, put another one in. Not that big of a deal. Okay. Look at that, guys. See how easy that goes? And you do all, and I'm just using my zip tie gun to both tighten and cut at the same time. When you make your petals ahead of time, it just makes it a little bit easier to just put them in the board. And once again, you can use this. You can make the petals. You can actually do this while you're watching Netflix. I've been, I have seen the Netflix series, The Tiger King. And if you don't want to think and you just want to watch something and have your brain melt and not have to think about anything, 
that's the show for you. <laughs> if you've had a hard day and you just want to sit and just veg out, that's the show. <laughs> Nelly, I am. I am alternating the um, the petals. I am going the, the folded way and then the back way. Folded, you know, front, back, front, back, front, back. Because I couldn't decide which one I like better. So I decided I want to do them both. And this is a really pretty, so far that's just row two. Yep, that's it. Oh, Kim. Oh, Kim, 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 please use them. They are awesome. I'm just going to put that over there and then we're going to do some folds. Um, they are great. I have on my videos here on my Facebook um, page or I have my YouTube channel as Amy Rose Crafts. Go in. I did the, the basics. I have the sunflower, the daisy, and the rose on my YouTube. You can fast forward, you can pause, you can do all of that. Got that little zucchini that's cool. Yes! How do you order the board? Ah, Beverly, I'm gonna go ahead and post it in here right now. They are pre-done. Hi, Alexis. So the Unique in the Creek, the very first one is uniqueinthecreek.com. That's my, those are both my affiliate. Um, they sell the boards. That's the large 15 and a half inch flower board. And the holes are already pre-drilled. You don't have to think about nothing. They also have the triangle board, etc. And then the second one is Deco Exchange where you can order the supplies. Um, you can order uh, the poly burlap. I think Unique in the Creek may have some poly burlap in it. You'll have to check. I didn't check either one to see if they still had the pink. So all I did was go into a square into my diamond again. I'm going to flip up about two inches. I know I'm really technical, guys. Really technical. Marion, I don't want to hear anything from you. I <laughs> give Marion a hard time. We work with each other and she actually quilts. So yes, I'm gonna give her a hard time. So I'm just going to do pre-do the petals so that way they go in nice and fast. And that way uh, during each round, I can show you the petal in again. So that way when you're coming in, you can see the petal. And those of you just hopping on, hello. My name is Amy Rose with Amy Rose Rates and Crafts or Amy Rose Crafts. Um, if you could go ahead and uh, force push me out, that's the S-H-A-R-E button. I'd really appreciate it. We are creating a flower on the Unique in the Creek board, large flower board, the Bella petal. So we have the square, it's turned up, diamond, point to point, create that triangle, and I'm just pressing it down to create a fold. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I, you were thinking something, Marion. She's a quilter and she's created some beautiful quilts, guys. And it does have the lines on my board. And I should have thought about my board and flipped it over to the blue so that way you could see this. I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it up to the corner once again. Technical measurements, guys. Technical measurements, about two inches. And then folding over the other side. So you have your petal. Let me get my fat fingers out the way. And then just scrunching it in the middle. Now you could put it in your zip tie and go along. I'm just doing all of them. Well, I'm gonna do a couple and then I'll put them in. I just wanted you to see the fold again. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello Beverly from Missouri. Excuse me, I need some water. Some water, water, water. So we have a square, diamond, triangle. And 
and this will be uploaded to my YouTube station. I'm excited about that. I am trying to get old and new. <laughs> I have been asked about some lives I did um, last year and the fish, when I created the fish, um, everybody asks, are you going to be putting that up there or where can I find that, etc. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's being uploaded guys, I promise. So normally when you get to the end of the roll, it's going to curl up anyways. So that way you know that this is the correct way when you're in a square. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, Michelle. Michelle, hello, Rosemary. I did heat seal. I, sh I sure did. I heat sealed them when I did my heat seal, heat sealer versus the wood burner. And who was the victor? To me, both. <laughs> I like both of them. I liked the wood burner on the check. And I like the heat sealer on uh, the poly uh, burlap mesh. <laughs> it's just a preference. I thought hands down. I'm like, because I've, I've had the heat sealer this entire time and I'm partial to it. Yeah, nope. <laughs> so I'm just going to go a little bit faster. I'll be making more. So it just all depends on your preference, that's all. But I do suggest either one, you will do heat seal your poly burlap mesh because um, it will fray. And especially for the flowers, you want clean edges. You don't want them to fray as much. With mesh, there's gonna be fraying, but you wanna minimize it as much as possible by heat sealing. And like I said this morning, I woke up, had my coffee, went outside, hi Julia, and just did some uh, heat sealing. I finished up my, uh, this check right here. The neighbors were doing something in their garage, don't know what. <laughs> I think everybody's like remodeling or gardening or, you know, just trying to pass the time until everything is over. And I hope everybody is staying safe. I really do. This too shall pass. Ouch. I told Danny the other day, I'm like, oh, next weekend is Easter. I have to make my grandmother's hoska recipe. I'll go live for that. Her hoska, it's a um, enriched bread with um, golden raisins in it. <gasps> Love it. Beverly, you're new to the crafting world? What is a heat sealer? Ha ha. A heat sealer, they're both in the garage. Um, the heat sealer is like the, um, whatchamacallit? It looks like a gu guillotine or one of those paper slicers. Remember when you were in school back in the day where you put a piece of paper in and you sliced it? That's the heat sealer. That's the impulse sealer. And you can get those on Amazon. On my page, or actually on the actual live that I did, I put my affiliate link to Amazon where it had the heat sealer and the wood burner that I used. So if you scroll down in my page, um, you can see it. Hi, Connie. Hello, Debbie from Georgia. How is the weather there? It just basically because this is there's plastic in mesh, not uh, burlap, there's plastic in it. It just heats and cuts the mesh so that way it doesn't fray. When, so when I say heat seal or seal, when people ask me, that's what we're talking about. And on some of the flower petals, because you don't want them to fray, you're going to heat seal. Some of them you don't need to whatsoever. 
Okay, let's bring my flower back up. Boy, this is huge. Oh, put that over there. Okay, so now I'm in row three. Okay, and I'm going to put in now my check. You know how pretty that is? Let me see about um, doing every other again. Yeah, I think I am, guys. I think I am. Yep, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the pink. I'm putting one in this way and one in, I'm just turning it over and putting it in the other way. So it ha just so it has a different effect. Now you may do your flower any which way you want. Completely up to you. This is going this way. And I know you see these holes in here, but with this type of petal, because it fans out, when I put the next row of petals here, you're not gonna see it here. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna keep going. This petal creates a lot of coverage, like the sunflower. Turn it over, you see that guys? I almost put it over wrong. I'm sorry, I'm not reading comments. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello Gary, hello, hello, hello. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bag sealer, correct. Mm -hmm. Hi Ellen from Nebraska, how are you? Hi Jelly. Beverly, you can heat seal anything that has plastic um, with it, in it. Hello, Debbie. Hello. Hi, Gary. Gary said drink, y'all. Um, whatever mesh has plastic in it, which is the majority of them, you can heat seal because it will um, seal those plastic edges. So just, just think about it that way. If it has plastic, it will heat, heat seal. Like burlap? Uh-uh. <laughs> You ain't sealing that. And we're already done. See? See how fast that is? This is going to be a pretty flower. And if you wanted to, you could go every other. You could do pink, check, pink, check, pink, check. I like the way you have the colors coming in this way. You could have the different colors going in that way. Completely up to you. Yeah, I'm done with row three. And, and for those of you that are watching on YouTube, please go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Hi. Hi. Ah, there we go. See how it's like coming up? It's coming up to the center. That's so pretty. Okay, now back to my pink. Same fold, guys. I got a little doohigger. Because I heat sealed it, this little doohigger, when I cut it, it's not going to hurt nothing. I also use technical terms too, guys. Hi, Jenny. How are you? I have not seen an ugly flower from you yet. Aw, Marian, thanks. <laughs> 71, Debbie. How lovely. I think that's where we're, our high is going to be today. This morning it was a little cooler. But I am glad that the rain has stopped. Last night we got some wicked thunderstorms. <laughs> Once again, our poor dog Shelby, the... The Kali Pointer, she is just not having it at all. I felt terrible for her. Hi, CD. CD, I loved your sunflower. That was beautimous. And 
and flowers are not hard to do. Some can be time consuming, like the Star Trek, which I still have to do. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what mesh I want to use on that Star Trek. Because I want it to be awesome. I'm thinking futuristic because it's called the Star Trek petal. And of course, you know, with this house, we have to be something called a Star Trek petal. We need to have it over the top. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe black with some silver in it. That would be pretty. And then Danny will want to put the emblem in the middle, I'm sure. Or maybe not, he'll surprise me. So I'm just folding it over. And poly burlap mesh does hold its shape. Well, a little bit better than um, deco mesh. And I'm just tying them off with the little, you don't need to do this. You can totally just make your petal and put it into your zip tie and zip it down. You can totally do that while you're going. Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Three more. Yeah. Yes, Linda. I have a video on that. Um, yes, it's on my, U I had to think, did I upload it? I sure did. It's on my YouTube station at Amy Rose Crafts. I also have the videos here on my page of the verses. My heat sealer, I give you all the information of uh, the brand I use. Um, the link is posted to that um, video on my Facebook page. And then on YouTube, I've uploaded it there so that way you can Fast forward, you can fast forward through any. See, I'm just taking these little plastic things off because I, the heat sealer I used, I just purchased. I got all excited. <laughs> and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't let it heat as much as long as I wanted it to. I don't, Jill, I don't spray my burlap first. No, ma'am. I don't. Nope. Because with the poly uh, burlap mesh, it does say that it's UV protected. I don't know for how real that is. However, whoo, there goes that rubber band. Um, if you wanted to, you could spray it. Um, I normally, if I do spray my wreaths, um, oh yeah, these plastics. And that's just plastic coming off, guys. It's not the the mesh at all. It's just plastic. Um, I just used a sealer from Walmart. It says UV and weather protected. And I normally um, use the matte. However, you can go ahead and get the gloss. Completely up to you. But I don't spray mine normally. Hi! That snapped. Killer. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put you in there. It wanted to snap at me, so I, I'm just gonna put them in right away. <laughs> so now we're in row four. So I'm just putting it in, zip tying it down, so I put this one in, oh, these plastic. We were worried about the phrase. Now I have this little plastic things going on. I'm gonna trim that off. It was my fault. I didn't let the heat sealer seal. I wanted to get it off right away, so I pulled it. <laughs> That's my fault, not the heat sealer's fault. Hi, Betsy. Okay. Can you get it with glitter? The deco mesh? You sure can. So I have this one facing this way. The next one, I'm just going to turn it over and put it the other way. Either way, it's a pretty petal. 
I don't know if the poly, hmm, maybe the poly burlap mesh does have glitter. I haven't seen it. I could be lying out my teeth. See how this part right here, how that just folds right there and you cannot see whatsoever. It's a great petal, guys. It has a lot of coverage. This would be pretty, 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 pretty. This would be pretty all white for a um, daisy. Oi. These are those zip ties again, guys. And I'm putting it in this way. So I'm just putting in one and then flipping the other one. That's all I'm doing. And we're going to have mesh left over, which is fine because they can be done on the small flower board. And that's what I want to show you after this one. That's going to be awesome. Putting in this way, then that way, then this way, then that way. This way, then that way. No, wait, that's not the song. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Came out totally wrong. <laughs> All right, last one I'm going to put in the other way. And I'll get to comments in just a minute after I push this in. But I am so happy that Dana and some of the other ladies are here. My better half is that she's in bed. <laughs> I use, yeah, CD. It's six inch zip ties at, at 18 pounds. The reason why is because the six inch at 18 pounds, the head of the zip tie fits in the holes of the, the board. So if you need to put the head in the hole based on your design you can I don't need that with this design because you're not gonna see it and the majority of designs you really don't need to have that head in that the hole of um, the flower board when I did my Pegasus last week I did make sure that the head was placed in the hole because of the um, fuzzy yarn but that's it Okay, now the middle. I may put in, we'll see. There's row five, that's your middle row. There's four. I may put five. I may put a shared holes, and I'll show you in just a minute. Let me see what the four does. Let me see, let me see. What am I using in the center? I'll show you. I'm using a little pom-pom. I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> but I wanted it something different because it's fluffy and it almost looks like the center of a flower to me. <laughs> it may not to you, but I'm going to use a pom -pom. You could put anything in the center. You could use the half foam um, domes from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Michaels if you have them. And then you can wrap um, yarn. Here, here we go. You could wrap chunk yarn around it. Completely up to you. I just thought, thought this was fun. And it's cream and this is cream. And this isn't white, so I thought it would work. We'll see. We'll see if it does. We'll see if it doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about the shaking, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, Mr. Dan is not here to tell me that don't shake the table. Yeah, he was up pretty late with the doggos last night. I couldn't stay up anymore, guys. I was tired. <laughs> but when Shelby gets the way she does, there's no consoling her. The Thundercoat, like I said, doesn't work. 
we try to wrap her, but we'll sit, you know, we'll take turns. She'll be in the, um, she likes to be in the closet or the bathroom. So we'll sometimes be in there with her. Oh yes, Beverly, they're so, so easy. Yes, if you go to uniqueinthecreek.com, you'll be able to see um, the boards and the kits that they have available. Okay, so I did my four. Let me see what it's gonna look like. Let me see. Now I'm not going to zip tie them down yet because I wanna check the coverage. Because I'm doing every other, I wanna make sure that I still have that pattern. Well, I would if I zip tied them down. Yeah, I would. So I am gonna zip, lied, I'm gonna zip tie them down. Because <laughs> if I do the shared holes, I am just going to um, flip them the other way and it's gonna turn out the same. Yeah, I am gonna do shared holes only because there's a hole right here. I don't know if you can see, I don't like it. I want that covered. So I'm gonna put these in and I'm putting them in all the same way. I'm not rotating them or flip, flipping them, I'm sorry. I'm not flipping them yet because I'm gonna put those shared zip ties in. This is just so pretty. Let me cut this and then I'm going to show you so you have a better angle to see. There we go. Now see in here where you can see the line and a little bit of a hole. I don't want that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to make four more. And let me flip it over. I'm gonna use these shared holes in between. So when we say shared holes, that's all it means is we're sharing this one to this one, this one to this one, this one to this one. You may see it up here on some designs where they're sharing these holes even up here. That's all that means. So I'm gonna take my zip tie. I'm gonna go down through one hole if I can find it. and up through the other if I can find it there we go <laughs> okay and I'm going to zip tie it this would be considered zip tie open okay this is closed we're going to zip tie closed it just makes it easier when you're putting in your petals like this to just have them closed now there are petals where you want them open. It just depends on which one you're doing. Hi, Laura. Kathy, I heat sealed my mesh at 10 by 10. Hi, Sarah. Yes, please send it out to your personal pages. I'd really appreciate it. Invite your friends and family. I thank you very much <laughs> this is helping me i am working on something um so we'll see if that works out and i'll be excited to launch that launch i don't know why i said it like that hi chum i'm just moving my zip tie head over just a little bit so i can get at that hole so remember i said the the Head of the zip tie will fit in the holes. Well, this one was very, very close, but I needed to share the hole, so I needed to move it away. And if you need to do that, just take your needle nose pliers, like I just did, and just take, clamp the top and just move it over. That simple. Um, hold on, there's a question, sorry. They're flying by now. I hold the tie. Hi, Vicky. Almost exactly the same. 
Oh, Jill, how pretty. Um, do you have an impulse sealer? D, D M, or do you like D? Thank you, Debbie. I do have an impulse sealer and I have a wood burner. And I have a video both on my YouTube page and on the videos here on my Facebook page. My YouTube is Amy Rose Crafts. And I did like the verses <laughs> because I was, a, I do use the impulse sealer. And I was like, okay, you hear people either or, okay? And I was just like, hmm, let's see how good this wood burner is. And so it was this mesh that I was cutting the pink because I was doing it for this project today. And honestly, both work. They really do. I don't have a favorite. I, I don't mind the wood burner. I still like the impulse sealer. The wood burner was easier for me to do with these, with the check, because it's a more, um, because it's open, I'm able to see where I'm cutting. As with the poly burlap, because the it's so close, the squares and you can see that, can't you? And try not get a straight line. Eh, I know you can get a ruler, you can get a uh, steel ruler, um, you can use like a straight edge. I didn't think of it at the time, but there's a lot of ways that you can. So either one. You're very welcome. I missed comments. <laughs> I like to talk and then I miss comments. Do you, you fold the zip tie? in half and go from behind. Yes, I have seen people do that as well. You don't have to go um, through and then under. You can flip the board and fold it and I'll show you on the small board when we're done here. Oh, wait, no, I already loaded that one. I have a board over here that I can show you. Let me show you really quick. I have boards everywhere, guys. <laughs> this is the character board. And if you don't want to do when you're loading, and I'll do a character board in another project. I have done them. There, it's on my videos on YouTube. If you don't want to go down and up like that, what CD is saying, you flip it over, you just bend your zip tie in half, and because the head is 18, it's 18 pound, you can load it that way. Let me show you again from the side. Just fold it in half, put your head in one, the tail in the other, and load it that way. Completely up to you guys how you want to load your boards. Either way, there's no wrong way. There's no wrong way. Da -da -da -da. Hi, Faith. I'm using the large board for this, for the pink. However, after I'm done with this one, because literally we are almost done, we got four more to put in and then the center, I'm gonna show you on the small board what you can do with them, with the leftover pieces, because look how much I have left. I had I cut, I impulse sealed the entire, and it would burn the entire roll and I have mesh left over. And the mesh that I had left over from the Rita that I did a couple weeks ago, the purple with the purple cream, I wanna show you how you can use that left over. It's not, you know, you can't do a whole new one and then you can order more if you can find it, but then you have to wait. I'm impatient. <laughs> I wanna create something and I wanna create it now. So I'm going to show you what I have done to use up your leftover pieces of mesh from when doing a flower because we all have it. I don't know about you, but when I start impulse sealing or word burning now, I'm just going to do the entire row. Why? Because 
Um, I'm going to have to heat seal this anyways. This is poly burlap mesh. And then, oh, I don't have any bags in here. I just curl it on itself again. And we have bread. We have a bread maker. And we have the plastic bread bags um, from Amazon. And there, when you, after you make your loaf of bread, you just put them in a bread bag like you do get from the grocery store. So I just fold it back in and I put it in the bread bag. That's why it stays all nice and neat. I'll do the same with this. You fold it back in and you put it in the bread bag or you know that you're going to use both at the same time again. Put it both in the bread bag. Hi, Dan. Okay, so now let's finish up the middle row. So I'm putting them in upside down, okay? Oh, I'm missing comments, sorry. Do that with me, Daisy. Yeah, there you go. D, this, the pink is poly burlap mesh. Hi, Nicole. And then the check is poly burlap check. And the um, affiliate link to a deco exchange is um, within the comments. So they have, I know they have um, the poly burlap. So go ahead and check that out. And if you want the boards, Unique in the Creek is also in the comments. So I'm just gonna make sure it's the same pattern. Because I had the other ones flip this way, I'm just flipping these and I'm putting them in. And then I'm just taking this and putting it behind. Just so that way I get that same effect. And last one. Look how full that is. Guys, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. They have tons of colors. They have yellow. They have pink. They have the lavender that I'm going to show you. Look how pretty. Yes. You'll want to wear a mask. Hi, Maria. Thank you. Now the center, you can, I, I was going to use this pom-pom. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was in the Christmas section. You can put that right in the middle. Or this is a four and a half inch um, styrofoam ball that I cut in half. And that chunk yarn that I have tons of, I'm telling you guys, if you want chunk yarn, let me know. I have huge bags of it. I'll set $15. <laughs> I'll send you a bag. Or you can put something like this in the middle. It's completely up to you. Okay. Now let me show you. Before, well, let me get my hanger in here. Because when I show you the purple one, I'm going to show you the difference in size from the small board to the large board. See, that's pretty darn fast, huh? And I'll flip it around in just a minute. With the Yuganik and the Creek boards, there is two holes at the top, which are um, beveled in for your hanger hole. Let me put that down now. I did the Rita flower and I had the lavender. Ooh, what's going on over here? I don't know. I had the lavender and the Czech cream and lavender left over. I'm like, well, 
there's not a lot. There's, there's not enough to do an entire flower again. Aha. On the small flower board, it's 12 inches. It's 12 inches. It's got rows one, two, three, four. I'm skipping row one, which is the outside one. So like on the other flower, I use the outside rows. I'm not going to do that with this one. I went right into row two. I'm doing two, three, and four. Okay. Same petal. Same petal that I just used, but I'm making a smaller flower. Okay. So those of you that are joining, this is what I do, leftovers. Everybody's like, what do you do with a small board? I use my leftover. I shouldn't, it sounds bad when I say leftover. It's not really leftover, but it is. <laughs> um, from what you've already used, and I switched it. I put, because I didn't use, um, I use a lot more of the purple than I did of the check pattern in my Rita flower. I had a lot more check than I had purple, so I reversed it. So I did the outside with check, purple, then check in the middle. Let me get this piece of check. It's the same thing same petal. So I'm telling you guys to hang out with me for a little bit longer. That one's wonky. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm putting it in the very same way. On the flower board, I'm on the small flower board, I am just not using the outside rows. And I'll show you again. I'll turn it over and show you in just a minute. But I switched up my pattern and just using what I have left over. I think I have just one piece after all is said and done. I'll have just one piece of the check left over and one piece of the lavender check or the lavender left over. Okay. I need two more. Actually, I'm going to do the same thing in the middle. I, this one I did not switch off. They're all the same way. So when I put it in, I put it in. That one's wonky. Hello. I am putting them all in this way but you could flip this too. Completely up to you. Extra mesh. Thank you, Denise. It's extra mesh. <laughs> I don't know why we associate leftovers with bad um, notations. <laughs> Cause I don't mind leftovers. I eat them all the time. And I just went into row four. This is our middle roll, row, roll. Let me see. Yeah, I think I am going to do, I actually have only one piece of the purple, or I'm sorry, the lavender left over and none of the check. So I'm utilizing every piece of mesh that I can. Because right now, with everything going on, that's what you want to do, right? I'm doing the shared holes again. 
And if you do have extra purple, then put extra, do um, alternate the, the purple and the check in the middle. It's up to you. It's whatever you have left over. Or if you wanted to add a color, if you had the darker purple, I do, but it's still in the package. I haven't used it yet. And I didn't want to open up a package because I wanted to show you about, you know what I am going to call them? Leftovers. Because I don't mind leftovers. I like leftovers. <laughs> I sure do. And this is just creating a small, sweet little flower that I can now sell with the large one if they want to and have both on the wall. They can have a pink and a purple or they can have this one and the Rita both in the same color palette, just different flowers. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, see? To me, leftovers, it, it gives it the food time to just mellow and get to know each other and say hello, have a party. <laughs> it's just like with strawberries and sugar. It takes time for that to get pretty, right? Well, I wouldn't consider that leftovers, but hey. Two more guys, I promise. And then I'm gonna show you side by side. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and force push me out to your friends and family on your personal page. I'd really appreciate it. That's the S-H-A-R-E button. I say force push because I am a huge Star Wars fan. Oh, and this one's a lot more full. Well, because it's tinier in the center, you really get that 3D effect. Scusi. Let me put my hanger hole in this one really quick. It's the same thing. See up here in row one, let me show it to you down this way. In row one, you have all these holes. We did not use them, but there's two that are close together. And they're, when you feel them, they're going to be indented in. That is your hanging hole. And honestly, not using row one, it still made this adorable flower. How cute would this be in a little girl's room or in a garden room? Let me get this up. And I think I do have two of these. Bear with me here for just a minute, guys. I want to put that one in there as a placeholder. Now all you would do, because that is so light, you would just take some hot glue and put it on in. I know you can't see right now. Bear with me here for just a minute. Let me get situated. Let me get situated. Please stay in there. Of course not. Oh no. It doesn't want to do what it wants to do. It has these little ties because it was an ornament. Oh, that's not going to work. There we go. Just stay in there for right now. Just stay. Just for a little bit, okay, little guy? 
It'll probably fall out again. Let me get another one and I'm gonna bring you up. So if you get sick, close your eyes in three, two, one, bringing you up. I'm gonna push this as back as far as it'll go. Ooh, geez, I'm sorry. You can add leaves, absolutely. If you wanted to, definitely add leaves. I'm not gonna add leaves. I don't normally to these types of flowers. I'm just gonna get another pom-pom. I bought a whole bunch of these after Christmas from Hobby Lobby. And I was gonna make, you guys can use them on your, if you make gnomes, you can put those on top of your gnome hats. Let me make sure that I don't kill any of my flowers here. Okay, don't. <laughs> I don't have them glued in. Let me go ahead and glue this one. Stop it. Okay. I'm just gonna glue this one real quick. I know you can't see. That's because I wanted this one in the middle. So I'm just taking hot glue and because it's so, so light, it's a pom-pom. <laughs> so I'll hold that in there for just a minute. So this is a small one that we made with the same size pom-pom in the middle. <laughs> right? You need to get your order now. You could put one of these in there. That would be pretty. Mm, maybe I should have done that one. Ah, I'll make more. I have more pink, I'll put it in that one. I just like this middle. It just looks like a, the center of a, of a flower. Okay, I need to hot glue this in place. Miss Candy Bloor sent this to me mm -hmm. and I love it. It just, it doesn't love me sometimes. <laughs> it really doesn't. And these glue strings are gonna drive me nuts. Okay. All right. So hopefully you can see both. Hi. <laughs> Um, Dana, thank you. I didn't see that. Um, I don't have any kits yet. I'm in the process of, that's what I'm going to be doing is getting some kits. Um, I have my Fiesta kit and that's on my Etsy store, Amy Rose Crafts. So this is on the large flower board. This is on the small flower board with the leftovers from when we did this one, the Rita. So whatever mesh I had left over from this, I put on the small flower board. Oh, okay, I can't reach that right now. I'm gonna put this over here. So see, a beautiful flower done twice. And I like the center on both. I really do, I like the pom-pom center. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do, I have one son. <laughs> he is a tween. Thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Much appreciated. So this one, this petal is flip-flop. This one is not, and it just means that the petal, I did every other one this way, then flipped it over. This way, flipped it over. This one was all this way, if that makes sense. If not, go ahead and watch the replay, and I'm gonna upload it to my YouTube channel. 
<laughs> Absolutely, Dana. I have got to try this. Hope I hope I can. You can. We'd love to have a kit, so just kind of fun and not wonder about what to put. Yes, yes, Beverly. Um, Unique in the Creek, if you go to Unique in the Creek and uh, click on my affiliate link that I have in the comments, I got to this live, it'll be up at the top um, or on my page is pin posted. Um, they have kits available. Um, they have the sunflower, the daisy, and the rose, but um, I am in the process of possibly getting the poly burlap and getting some kits together. Oh. <laughs> I don't know anymore with everything shutting down. It's so, so hard. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, uh, thank you, Yvonne. Oh, you're very welcome, Marcella. Hi, Lucy. Welcome. What is your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is the same as my um, Facebook. It's Amy Rose Crafts. When you type in Amy Rose, you will get the character, the pink character from Sonic the Hedgehog. Because, yes, her name is Amy Rose. <laughs> Make sure you put crafts after it. And it'll pull up my face. <laughs> That's me. But, yes, I understand I have the same name as a character from um, Sonic the Hedgehog game and movie. <laughs> She's cute, though. She's pink. <laughs> Bye, Gary. Have a great day. All right, guys, does anybody have any questions? That's what I'm just waiting for. And you do have a question or, and you don't want to post it right now, that is completely fine. You can always personal message me um, your question. I'll be more than happy to answer. Where am I located, Lena? Lena? I'm in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I am not from here. I'm originally from Illinois. Um, but we moved down here for work <laughs> and this is where we stayed. Our son was born and raised here. You're very welcome, Beverly. See, I do have some tricks up here. I have more. I have a lot more that I want to share. Leftovers. I think I'll call them leftovers. <laughs> All right, guys, if you, I'm just waiting for the comments to come through because, you know, there's a delay. Uh, the best city in the world. Yeah. Oh, how very cool, Lucy. That's a hop, skip, and a jump from here. Just waiting for the delay on the comments. Um, like I said, if you do have any questions, you just don't want to ask it here, please PM me. Um, I'll go ahead and answer any questions that you have. Check out my YouTube station. Like and subscribe. I'm posting videos every day, um, especially the ones uh, from last year, the fish, etc. Very popular. And um, yeah, this will this will be on hopefully this evening. Hopefully. I appreciate all the love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on your Sunday. It really means a lot um, to like me and share me out to your friends and family on your personal pages and use my affiliate links guys please please do because that helps me and it will help you in the long run it really will so get the supplies you need <laughs> and until next time so long farewell adieu to say adieu 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 to you and you and you who Bye, guys. Have a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so, so much for joining. I'm walking awkwardly around to the camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.